Can I have your attention, please? Welcome to Leadership Tuesdays. I'm Nona Ogunsula. If you were from Mars and you learned about American women and minorities from watching the most popular TV shows and news programs in America, what conclusions would you come to? During the Congressional Black Caucus's 45th Legislative Conference, U.S. Congresswoman Brenda Lawrence, who represents the 14th District of Michigan, hosted a forum on how women are being portrayed in the media. Misrepresentation, named after the documentary directed by Jennifer Sabelle Newsom, sought to create a dialogue around women and the TV and entertainment industries. I caught up with her after her session and asked her what she hoped to accomplish. Here's what she had to say. Brenda Lawrence, Congresswoman from the Michigan 14th District, born and raised in Detroit. Being a woman of color and looking at the media, and now I'm a grandmother. I raised a daughter, now I'm raising a granddaughter. I know how important the media is to how we as women perceive ourselves, uh, our self-worth, and then the issue of how black women or women of color are portrayed in the media. And so we brought together some experts who could actually talk about real time, what is their impact? What, was, what would be their recommendations for women who wanted to go into the field of media? The one takeaway that I hope everyone received was that it's not just being a journalist. It's not just being on the other side of the camera where the lens are looking on you. It's about the power behind the camera. It's about the power of the uh, running a broadcast studio and, and really having control of the messaging. And so that's something I hope we take away and we're gonna continue this dialogue. Gloria Steinem put it best when she said in a New York Times article, it's hard to think of anything except air, food, and water that is more important than the media. Here are some facts that you should be aware of. Women are more than half of the population, and according to Nielsen, they are the heaviest consumers of media. Yet, they are only about 30% of the broadcast news reporters. Further, minorities are a little over 22% of the total TV news employees when they are a third of the population. There is definitely an opportunity to improve the representation of African Americans, Asians, and Latinos in the newsroom. After the CBC session, Congresswoman Torres said this. For me to come and support my good friend, Brenda Lawrence, who I serve with, um, but also to have an opportunity uh, to encourage uh, other women to get involved in politics or whatever it is. And for me, it was an opportunity. Yes, we are making progress in increasing the number and types of roles for women, but we have more to do. What we see in the media, which now includes social media, should reflect the diversity of our society. The data shows that increasing the number of women and minorities behind the camera in executive producer, writer, and director roles will have a positive effect for women and minorities. Not make excuses for being women, because as women we can be beautiful without showing all of our body parts. So how do we begin to see the change we want? We must embrace our power as consumers. If you want to see less of this and more of this, then you have to support programming and entertainment that reflect your interests and values and tweet about it. Emmy goes to Viola Davis, How to Get Away with Murder. The 67th Emmys was touted as the most diverse in its history with regard to its nominees. Viola Davis made history when she won Best Actress in a lead role in a drama series. Upon accepting her award, she had this to say.
in my mind, I see a line. And over that line, I see green fields and lovely flowers and beautiful white women with their arms stretched out to me over that line. But I can't seem to get there no how. I can't seem to get over that line. That was Harriet Tubman in the 1800s. And let me tell you something. The only thing that separates women of color from anyone else is opportunity. You cannot win an Emmy for roles that are simply not there.